So you're looking, when you want to value a franchise, you look at the price of the license that doesn't deteriorate uh, because that, that price, that market value is established by the franchise agreement. If the franchisor has increased their franchise price, then this price could actually appreciate. So then you, you want to combine that with the, you know, I think any other valuation model that you would use perhaps a discounted cash flow model where you're looking at the future streams of revenue, you know, times the likelihood that they occur, discounted for time, and then you, you can sort of estimate the value of the business there. There might be some fixed assets in place. In our business's case, you know, you look at the signs, the relationships with the employees, the relationships with the clients, and, and that really uh, all factors in there. So we have helped a couple of our franchisees successfully sell their business and what, I think how much could they you know some of those sales have been if you could share or just generally how much could right absolutely in fact even some of our corporate locations when we franchise those our franchisees bought the existing business I think uh, one of them went for as many uh, as much as a hundred and sixty two hundred thousand dollars and then you know that creates other opportunities because uh, someone doesn't necessarily have all that cash up front they might finance the price of that asset and then pay interest on it. So we might get some of that in principle and now we've got streams of royalties uh, coming in for the intellectual property, um, for the principal component of the loan and for the interest component of the loan. Oh wow, I never even thought it was like a bank in some ways too. Absolutely, in fact I would say that's probably my number one job these days is to act as a clearinghouse for the money a lot of our larger clients like a Sprint or a McDonald's prefer to write one check and be able to have the same service in all these different markets. And then it's wow, our job to basically transfer the money to our different franchises so that they can process the payroll for their employees.